Hey guys, uh, it's Furious Black again. Uh, I wanted to talk about Hebrew Israelite women. Um, it's like, uh, the, I was listening to a radio station uh, last night, and it was talking about how women are equal to men, uh, and uh, that they should have the same rights as men. And uh, I believe I believe women are equal to men, but also the scriptures is giving us clear distinction between a man and a female. That a man is not to wear what pertains to a woman, and a woman shouldn't wear what pertains to a man. And that gives you a clear distinction between male and female. Meaning, God doesn't want us to uh, beat up women or downgrade them or, or have no respect towards a woman. Because they have the job of nurturing uh, Hebrew Israelite children, and they have the job of, you know, taking care of the nation in that in that type of aspect. I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it's for it's a strong woman to be able to say, you know what, it's not my job to go out there and fight for the nation. It's not my job to go out there and you know protect my nation. That should be for a man. You know, it takes a strong woman to understand that there is positions that need to be played. Just like in basketball or, or football or any sport, each player knows their position. You know, it, I mean, I'm not saying a man can't cook. I'm not saying a man shouldn't cook. I'm not saying a man shouldn't do laundry. These are things that, you know, women can also be helped with. In this day and time, because you have both working uh, nowadays in, in America, so you can't say that. So it's it's like we have to understand that there's positions and roles, and I think a woman's role, based off the scriptures, is to be a nurturer to um, the children and her husband, so that he feels that he's needed or or loved. Because nowadays it's not like that. It's more about me, me, me. Instead of making the other person feel happy. Making the other person feel loved and wanted. And I think that's what the Most High wants for Israel. I don't think he wants us to have uh, the type of hatred that a lot of Hebrew Israelites have. Uh, pertaining to you know Esau and the other nations. Because I don't think we're going to... Have them going through hard slavery as they had us going through hard slavery because we're we're gonna be on a different level of consciousness and peace. So we don't have to downgrade anybody because we're on top. You see what I'm saying? Yes, they're gonna be captives and and, and I don't want to say slaves, but they're gonna be workers. But I don't think they're gonna be abused or. Or downtrodden by the nation of Israel because that's not the spirit that God lives in. He lives in a love and peaceful spirit. You know, it tells you the 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 spirit of righteousness and the spirit of wickedness. Beating up somebody and doing those type of things, that's the spirit of evilness. You know? Yes, God created good and evil, but there's an aspect when you start doing certain things. And you start, and that's what you're doing. You start living like that, and you start thinking like that, and that's why I think God is not trying to do. You know, so with that, you know, whole women being equal and stuff, I believe it, and I understand it. That's why I can't say, you know, that that's not true. Because Israel, as a nation, we need women to be able to nurture the children while the men are out here preaching on the street corners or uh, teaching in class or getting new recruits and teaching the new recruits how to become men. Uh, you know, but we also going to need uh, women to be able to uh, provide food for us when we come home or provide love and tender care when we come home because... We're not dealing with that type of uh, atmosphere in a war zone. You get what I'm saying? 
So I don't feel like it mean it makes a woman less than a man because she's uh, providing a place of of solitude or or a place of love because she's cooking and cleaning and doing the laundry. I mean, how does that make a woman less than a man? You know, it takes a real woman to be able to say, you know, you know what, that, that, you know, there is positions within the nation of Israel. And, you know, this is the greatest honor that I could have to be a Hebrew Israelite, to be able to take care of a prophet of the most high. I, and I'm not saying a woman can't be a prophet either. You see what I'm saying? Because who's to say that a, a, a woman can't teach, you know, her kids how to become great prophets or teach other people's kids that she might be watching how to be great prophets? There's no scriptures that say they can't. You know, there's a bunch of scriptures on women. So there's nothing that says that Israelite women are not equal to a man. I just think that there is different roles and different jobs for women than for women. Because if you're on a basketball team, the point guard is not trying to do what the center is doing. And the center is definitely not trying to bring the ball up the court. So, you know, let's just play our positions. Let's learn our, our positions and respect them for what they are. It's not, res it's not saying that, oh, you, you're beneath me because you're a woman. No, it's definitely not about that. So, you know, with that, you know, I'm um, Furious Black. Uh, share the video. You know, subscribe to the YouTube page if you like. I really don't care about that. But share the video. Get it out there. Let's get more Israelites speaking about uh, being Israelites. Let's get more um, blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans awake. Let's get them awake and ready to, you know, engage in the world that is to come let's get them awake and ready for the the world that is being uh uh pulled over their eyes let's get them awake to see what's going on out here you know so with that i'm furious black signing off and uh let's make this happen let's come together israel and let's let's be a nation that's that's no other nation could ever uh take down all right with that i'm out